how can those listening who are like, I want to have that experience. I want to connect with deceased loved ones or angels or, you know, what, what kind of advice would you give to them? Well, this is the best part. Let's go back a little bit. Is I taught the dyers how to do it. Now they don't need me anymore. And I feel wonderful about that because they're mm. doing it themselves. And wow. this is what I tell the audience too, is the number one thing, there's maybe a few things we could go over. One, we're expecting to hear a voice mm -hmm. or to see an apparition, as I said before, but they speak to us telepathically Yeah, as thoughts that just pop in your head for no reason. Right. So notice the thoughts that pop in your head. It, how do you tell the difference between your thoughts and theirs? Your thoughts will have an originating thought, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That will trigger another thought. Say, say you see a picture of your grandma that triggers a thought that tri that's you. Yeah. yeah, right. But if you're driving and then all of a sudden- Out of nowhere. You, what your grandma said to you 10 years ago, whatever, it pops in your head, pay attention to that. So that's number one. Num number two, I would say, ask them to give you a without a doubt sign. You have to yeah. ask them sometimes. Sometimes they just do it and sometimes they need to be asked. So you say, give me a sign to let me know that you're with me. Make it a without a doubt sign. Now, some yeah. of these, do you want to talk about some of these signs? Would yeah, be, please. Yeah. They love to come through as a bird, a ladybug, a dragonfly, a butterfly to let us know they're with us. But the bird, the animal, whatever it is, will do something that it normally does not do. Like Wayne with landing on him in the cover of his, what is it? A butterfly. Vision. Yeah, yeah. Yes. It's on the cover of his book. Yes, exactly. Something like that. And it's it's common. And that's, you know, I love hearing stories from people who've gotten, who've received these signs. One of these signs is my friend Marion. Um, now, as I said before, if you were loud here, you're still loud. She was loud when she was here on the physical plane. And then she passed. Mm -hmm. And I would suggest for people to do this too. I wrote, believe it or not, I wrote her a letter after she passed. There's a reason for this madness. <laughs> and in the letter, I said how much I loved her mm -hmm. and why. And I said, and by the, give me a without a doubt sign to let me know that you're aware of what I'm saying here in this, in this mm -hmm. letter. Mm -hmm. Okay. A few days later, I was ready. To, I was walking down my stairs to put uh, some bills in the mailbox. And as I'm walking down the stairs, there was a bird screaming at the top of its lungs in my driveway. Hmm. All right. So I'm looking at the bird and I'm not quite sure. And I said, Marion, is that you? <laughs> Marion? And it's going, Wah! like that. I mean, you can't not pay attention to that. It was crazy. Yeah. What? And I said, okay, okay. I Matt, Let me know if it's you. And I walked to the mailbox mm -hmm. and the bird, now birds don't do this, followed me to the mailbox. Uh -huh. Okay. And then looked at me and continued to scream. <laughs> oh my God, Mary, and I love you so much. And I am crying and I'm mm -hmm. crying. And I turn around and my neighbor saw the whole thing and I thought she thought I was crazy. Right, right. I didn't care. I had my cell phone in my pocket and I told my son to come outside because Marion was there. Mm. I said, Tim, come outside. Marion's here. And he said, huh? I said, just come outside. <laughs> and he witnessed the whole thing. But oh. the best part was a few days after that, a mutual friend of ours, Carol, she emailed me and said, you're not going to believe what Marion did to her. And I said, okay, we're going to compare notes. What did she do to you? Yeah. And she said, well, Karen, I just painted my kitchen and I opened up the sliding glass door and a bird flew in my kitchen, pooped all over my walls and huh. then flew out. And she knew because Marion was a practical joker. Uh -huh. she, knew it, and she said, thanks, Marion. Yeah. Well, I mean, she's been coming through crazy. What like, a shitty know, sign. She's been doing that <laughs> over and over throughout the years. So that's just one. I mean, I don't know how many signs you want to me to talk about because we have a limited I could give you maybe three more types of without a doubt sign. Sure, please. But it could go we could go on and on. Well, as we said before, they love to come to us in dreams. Yeah. Now they need to wake us up after the dream so that we remember it. So what I would suggest uh, you know to ask your loved ones to come to you in a dream and to wake you up after the dream so you remember it. Yeah. Or else you'll sleep the whole night and you won't. Yeah. Um there's two different types of dreams from our loved ones. One is a true visitation as you had. Mm -hmm. That was a true visitation in a dream. And the other one is a, is a dream from your subconscious, mm -hmm. which be something that you're trying to resolve. Um, yep. Yep. 
how they passed. You see them in a casket. They're mad at you. That's not them. Yeah. They don't come to you and they're not angry. They're not, they don't want to be remembered in a casket. They continue. They're at peace. They're at love. You know, sometimes they come through younger than that, what they were, if they were older, you know, usually they like the age 35. I don't mm. know why, hmm. you know, they come at a good, you know, in a good part of their life. Sometimes they speak, sometimes they don't, but you'll know without a doubt that they were with you. Mm -hmm. I'll give you another example. I know two minutes ago, I was saying how I don't expect to hear an audible voice, but yet after my mom passed, mm -hmm. I said to her, mom, I would love to hear your voice one more time. Mm -hmm. And that was it. So after work one day, I went home, I was exhausted and I took a nap and I had a dream, mm -hmm. quote unquote, which was a true visitation without a doubt. And in the dream, I walked into a crowded room and my mother's voice came over the loudspeaker and she said, I have an important announcement. Wow. I have an important announcement. I am okay. And I love you. Oh. And I said, oh. mom, I love you so much. I said, who are you with? And she said something that I didn't recognize. So I said, could you say it again? <clears throat> so I would tell our listeners, if you don't understand what they're saying, say, say it again. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And she said, nanny, who is her mom. Mm. And with that, the phone rang, woke me up. I was able to remember the dream and I felt like I won the lottery. Wow. You know, I just, it was the most <clears throat> incredible experience. I knew without a doubt it was her. Wow. No question about it. You knew, right? Yeah. Without a doubt it was, you know, without a doubt. Yeah. Well, all we need to do is to ask them to come and then be patient and wait and they'll yeah. come when you least expect it. Right. 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 Wow.